With Clone Wars Season 7 Episode 12 wrapping the Clone Wars series up, many of us asked the question, what happened to Embo after the end of his story and the Clone Wars Season 7? I'm going to break down exactly what happened to Embo after the Clone Wars Season 7 and how he was able to capture Lando Calrissian during the time of the original trilogy and live all the way through to the Battle of Exegol. So before we dive deep into it, remember to subscribe to the channel to be notified as soon as I release more incredible Star Wars content. At the moment, a small 3.5% of you who are watching this are subscribed to the channel. So if you do enjoy the content, let's try to get that number just a little bit higher. Embo was a Kyozo bounty hunter during the time of the Clone Wars. He was known as one of the most talented bounty hunters in the galaxy during the Clone Wars, even being able to go head to head with Anakin Skywalker. Embo travelled with his Anuba named Marok, which was an aggressive predator native to the planet Tatooine. Embo was a quiet and stoic individual preferring only to speak in his native language, making it difficult for his fellow bounty hunters to understand him. Despite this, he was an absolutely ruthless fighter disposing of his enemies without any mercy. He also held very strong morals despite his dangerous line of work, often choosing to protect innocent lives from his fellow bounty hunters. Embo was extremely skilled in many of the aspects of bounty hunting. He was extremely acrobatic and could jump exceedingly high distances and sprint faster than any human in the galaxy ever could. On top of this, he was so proficient at hand-to-hand -hand combat that he could nearly match any Jedi at the time as long as he remained in close quarters. During the Clone Wars, his skills were considered second only to Cad Bane. Unlike Cad Bane or Jango Fett, however, Embo did not rely on technology. His primary weapons were a black bowcaster and his incredibly unique wide-brimmed hat. This hat could be used as both a shield against blaster fire and even as a high-speed throwing weapon. Finally, he also wore a thick chest plate with an ammunition bandolier over his shoulder for protection from both blaster fire and vibro blades. The final time we saw Embo in the Clone Wars was when he travelled to the planet Scipio to disrupt the operations of the intergalactic banking clan and assassinate Rush Clovis. Despite failing to kill his target, he did manage to kill Padme's aide, Tekla, and disable Anakin's ship, forcing them to escape through the harsh, thick snow. Embo was hired to kill Rush Clovis by Darth Sidious himself, hoping to make Anakin jealous of Padme and Clovis' relationship, furthering his fall to the dark side. Although this was his last appearance in the Clone Wars TV series, he did also appear in the Dark Disciple novel. In the final months of the war, Embo began to take regular jobs with a new crew of bounty hunters, this time led by Boba Fett. The group were known as Crate's Claw and included infamous bounty hunters such as Dengar, Bosk, Aura Singh and High Singer. On one job with Boba Fett's crew, Embo was hired by former Sith assassin Asajj Ventress to rescue her lover and fallen Jedi, Quinlan Vos. Embo and his Anuba, Marok, travelled to the homeworld of the Sith Lord, Count Dooku, to attempt to retrieve the captured Quinlan Vos from him. The mission was ultimately a failure, leaving Quinlan Vos in the possession of Dooku. The next time we see Embo is when he encounters Lando Calrissian in the aftermath of the Battle of Endor. Embo attempted to claim a bounty on Calrissian for the destruction of the second Death Star, sneaking aboard the Millennium Falcon in order to capture him. He ultimately failed to collect his bounty with Lando leaving him incapacitated on a space station. <laughs> You've just gotta love Lando. Following that, we next see Embo in 5 ABY, where he teams up with a Rodian bounty hunter to capture Jas Amari, niece of bounty hunter Sugi and herself a bounty hunter for the New Republic. Embo took on the bounty because he needed to clear his debts from the previous years. After learning that their target, Amari, was taken captive on the planet Jakku, they quickly travelled to the desert planet to collect their bounty. Leader of Embo's crew, Mercurial Swift, intended to travel with the group but steal the bounty once he arrived and claim the full reward for himself. Unfortunately for him, the target managed to overpower him and escape captivity. After escaping the bounty hunting crew, Jas Amari rushed to a hangar in hopes of escaping on the same shuttle that the bounty hunters arrived on, only to be met by Embo who was awaiting her arrival. They began to speak, with Embo mentioning the unfortunate death of Marok many years prior. Amari reminded Embo that he used to work for her auntie, Sugi, during the Clone Wars, even convincing him to let her take the escape shuttle. Later on, Jas Amari and the New Republic operative Nora Wexley, mother of Snap Wexley, travelled back to the same spot on Jakku where she had originally been captured. Embo and his bounty hunting crew once again cornered the two hoping to capture them, but Nora Wexley managed to escape. 
After being captured, Jasamari revealed that they were on a New Republic sponsored mission to capture Imperial Grand Admiral Ray Sloan. Shortly after her capture, however, the Battle of Jakku broke out between the remnants of the Empire and the New Republic. This prevented Embo and Mercurial Swift from being able to transport their target back to the Hutt clan to claim their reward. During their time stuck on the planet, Jasamari managed to convince Embo and Dengar to turn against Mercurial Swift and offer them positions as bounty hunters for the New Republic. They gladly accepted the offer, also being promised full pardons for their crimes and to have their debts cleared. In a shocking turn of events, the crew were forced to team up with Ray Sloan in order to prevent the detonation of the core of Jakku by Gallius Rax. Rax was attempting to destroy the entire planet of Jakku on the orders of Palpatine as part of a contingency plan for his death. Embo and the crew were successful in preventing the destruction of Jakku, being rewarded handsomely by the New Republic for their efforts. Following that, Embo's funding from the New Republic began to dry up forcing him to return to Felucia where he now worked as a farmer. While on the planet, he met a woman named Bazine Natal who you might remember from The Force Awakens. Natal wanted information about the location of the Millennium Falcon. Embo told her the story of how he failed to capture Han Solo after the Battle of Endor, but was unable to provide the current location of the ship. Despite not being able to provide any new information about the ship's location, Natal compensated Embo with enough credits to live comfortably for a little while longer. Now because of his work with the New Republic and close connections with Leia's resistance, it is very possible that he piloted one of the ships that appeared at the Battle of Exegol. I think this would be such an awesome ending and redemption arc to Embo's story, so let me know down in the comments if you think Embo was at the Battle of Exegol. On top of this, there is a big chance that we will see Embo appear in Season 2 of The Mandalorian. Right now, they're literally throwing every character in the book at The Mandalorian Season 2, but if they had to narrow it down to only a few, Embo would definitely be on the list. He is of course a bounty hunter and would provide great competition for the Mando, as he had not yet turned to the New Republic at that point. So that is exactly what happened to Embo after the Clone Wars. After failing to capture Lando Calrissian after the Battle of Endor, he moved on to capturing targets from the New Republic but was quickly converted. He began taking contracts for the New Republic until they no longer funded him, leaving him to end his career as a humble farmer on Felucia. I'm sure we'll get a whole lot more information about Embo between his time on Felucia and the Battle of Exegol very soon. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to be notified as soon as I release more awesome Star Wars content. Thanks again so much for watching, cheers guys, hope to see you in the next one.